everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. If you're returning, welcome back. And if this is your first time, welcome. We appreciate you stopping by. Before I get started, I wanted to ask you for a huge favor. After this video, or even right now, if you could hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, we'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. There's also a bell next to that that you can click so that you get informed as to when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. So now, without further ado, let's get started into this Dollar Tree haul. Um, I will let you know that a lot of this is dollar plus section but the majority yeah most of it's dollar plus section but it is dollar tree so if you're not familiar with dollar trees dollar plus section all of my stores in my area definitely carry the dollar plus which means you can find things for three dollars and five dollars within the store of dollar tree um there are some items that i picked up for the five quarter store 125 but the others that I picked up for more, I will give you the prices when we get to them. Also, I have to say, I apologize. Been missing for the past two days, not due to my aunt's funeral, because for my aunt's funeral, I had already pre-recorded, but I have had a horrible, and I do mean horrible, bout um, of vertigo. And so I do have videos pre-recorded, but I didn't want to keep mundane doing the same things with Tractor Supply, Target, Tractor Supply. And I do have Dollar General, um, but I really wanted to bring you guys a Dollar Tree. So this stuff that I am going to share with you, I actually bought this out of town when I was um, out of town for my aunt's funeral. Um, and I meant to record this a lot sooner, so let's get started. So this is at least a week old, maybe a little over a week old items that I've purchased, okay? So... First and foremost, we're gonna start with this sign right here. So, this has the ghost on top. It also has your string to hang it from. This item was from the Dollar Plus section for $5. And it says trick or treat with the candy corn. And this one is actually going to go to Wildfire again. Why? She loves candy corns. And so this one, she was like, now that one out of all of them that you've picked up, that one I love. So this one is going to go to her. Um, it's not as wide or even as tall as some of the other ones with the frames that I have shared with you guys in the past. So it was a bit disappointing that it was five, but I guess they probably thought, well, it's definitely valued higher than $3. But to me, this is not the standard of the normal $5 ones. Because you know, when I hold the $5 ones here on the ground with me, they're way taller, you can't even see the top of them. So this is like a small $5 one. But it is cute because it has the ghost. And like I said, my daughter Wildfire loved it. So she's getting that one. Now, let's go with the $1.25 items or the five quarter items. I It's kind of funny because I had seen two Utes transplanted um, DIY where they did, they used mesh to make pumpkins. And then when I saw these at the store, I was like, Hmm. And actually, I saw their video after I purchased these, but I thought to myself, hmm, somebody's stealing ideas. Dollar Tree stealing two Utes, because these are new to me this year. And I know that they're new this year because they have the new tags on them. So these are new this year. And I think they're watching some of you ladies with y'all's DIYs, because I had never seen this before. Now, this one is missing the battery. Huh, and the cover. So that I'll have to exchange. I checked all of them. I thought I checked all of them. I didn't. That's why that one was still sitting there. Let me show you though. I did get two orange and one black. This is what they look like. They have the light where you can turn them on. So the orange has that like orange with the, oh, what's that called? When it has glitter. Oh my goodness, I can't think. Hold that thought. That Shimmer. It's got like shimmer to it. Um, so there's the orange. And at this store again, out of town, I had not seen these in my local Dollar Tree. Um, there was only one black, 
one orange, sorry, two orange and one black left. And I was only getting the black and the orange and I had tried it, like I said, in the store. This one's very loose. It's about to fall out from the bottom. Do you see it? That's probably why it was still sitting there too. You can see it's very loose. It needs to be hot glued in. Um, but my store, the store out of town only had the two orange, one black. I'm assuming the reason why the other orange was sitting there is because as you can see, the battery cover is missing. The batteries are missing. It's completely missing. So this one I will be exchanging here local. If somebody wants to buy those button batteries and replace it, they can. I was quite surprised that these were going for the $1.25, honestly, versus $3. Because I would have thought that these would have been worth $3. They're real cute even without the lights on, though. But you see how this one's completely falling out? It needs to be glued back in. And me and hot glue don't work, don't mix well. So I'll have to Gorilla Glue mine, I guess. Or if I spot them out in my local Dollar Trees, I'll just replace them. You know what I mean? But again, um, I personally have not seen them around here in my local Dollar Trees. That's not to say that they didn't get them and they were gone by the time I got there. Because again, I don't go on the daily and sometimes I don't even go on the weekly. I go like every two weeks. Um, sometimes I wait even... I go once a month and when I do I get enough stuff to be able to record for you all I just it's not that I'm too busy to go more often it's just I'm not interested in going more often if that makes sense like I'll make a special trip if I find something really spectacular here on YouTube that somebody has found and I'm like okay let me make a run to go see if I can find those items or that item but it's just really not my bag to go on the daily it's just too much. It's just too much. But the stuff that I do find, I'm happy with. You know what I mean? So I guess whatever I'm missing out on isn't hurting me. You know? So it works out for me. Uh, next up, I picked up these items. These are from the Dollar Plus section as well. These were $5. Now, I got the same exact ghost. So cute. At Family Dollar either last Halloween or two Halloweens back. Now they brought them over to Dollar Tree, the Dollar Plus section. These do light up. They do not come with the batteries. There is a sample on the display that you can click on to see how they work. And what they have is the little ghost, which is so stinking cute. And believe me, I put him on my bar during Halloween. He's so stinking cute. So I decided to go ahead and get a second one so I can have one on each side. Then they also have the skull. And this one literally is making my face on the permanent. Like when I'm out in public, I'm constantly like this. That's why I have the 11 so profound because I'm always like that. So when I saw this, I was like, finally, one that looks like me. What? That's why I'm going to have all these wrinkles up here because that's my face on the permanent. And then people say, she's a bitch. No, I'm just always thinking, did I turn off my oven? Did I lock the back door? Did the pool man come this week? Ooh, when is the yard man coming to cut the grass? These are the things that go through my head and people think when they see me that I'm rude or that, you know, I'm stuck up. No, I've got a lot of shit in my head. A lot. Last one from that set. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Five dollars. And this has like a, almost like a red back screen to it. Now you're seeing the frosted side, but the other side is like a red. So when it lights up, it kind of looks ooey, scooey, skaboobies. It's cute though. So if you see those, pick them up. Now I'm trying to show you Halloween first and then we're going to move on to fall. This is not a very big Dollar Tree haul. Only because I want to show you the out of town stuff first before I get into the stuff that I picked up local. And again, that local was two weeks ago and then I went last night. I'm going to show you the two weeks ago first and then I'll show you the last nights. You know what I mean? So that that way it's in order, so to speak. So found two new pairs of the cruise socks. 
Frankenstein. And it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. Those are the only two new that I found. New, that is. Then I found these cuties. These were $3 each. To me, well worth the $3. Um, cheaper than Dollar General. These little cute wooden decor pieces with the bottle brush tree. The first one says haunted and it's got the haunted house. Well, the house isn't haunted, but it's a spooky house. And then there's this one. Not sure why they went with the silver bottle brush tree because that's more Christmassy. But I guess because of the white ghost, they were trying to match it up. But they should have done this color or just black, all black. But the top one says boo. And it's got the ghost. Hey, hold on. Oh, this one could be a church, not a haunted house. That looks like it could be a church because I just saw the cross. This is the spooky house. So there's the haunted and boo. This one with the ghost is my favorite. But again, I wish they would have just done a black bottle brush tree. I'm not sure what that silver Christmassy one is all about. But you know, Dollar Tree did not call me up to, you know, convene with me, converse, converse with me. I don't know what the word is I'm trying to say. Forget about it. Next up. Now, this out-of-town store only had one of these. But last night, at my local Dollar Tree, they had a different one. So now I have two in total, two different ones. But you'll have to wait until I do that video. But these are the tabletop spinner decors. Decor. First one says, hello, fall. And then there's, welcome. It's all in this copper Welcome, and then, hello, Paul. It's got your A-frame metal black uh, stand to hold it on, and it's $3. And again, at this out-of-town store, there was only that one, just that one. But then here last night, there is one more that goes with it, and I wanna say that one is white in color. I don't really remember. Now, these were a huge hit at Valentine's Day. And when I saw them, they had just put them out and I could have bought three sets, but I only bought one set. Then Wildfire was like, why didn't you get me a set of those? I was like, I didn't know you would like them. I'm gonna tell you the difference though between the Valentine's Day blocks and these. These have so much glitter fallout. I don't know why they even felt a need to add the glitter to it. It doesn't need it. But there are the wood blocks, $3 each, and you get to pick what you want it to say. So there's grateful, hello, fall, blessed, give thanks, harvest blessings, gather. You choose what you want to display, okay? But the fallout is real, ladies and gentlemen, real. It's a lot. And then the other block is this orange one, falling leaves, I love fall most of all, sweater weather, meet me at the pumpkin patch, pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then gratitude is the best, attitude is the bottom. So I picked up these. Now, Wildfire happened to come over. I showed them to her and she was like, I don't want those. So now that I got her a set, now she's like, no, I don't want those. So definitely when Valentine's Day starts coming out, which will probably be December 15th or so, I will look for another set of the Valentine's blocks for her because I feel bad that I didn't get for her. Next up, we have the washcloths. You're gonna get six pieces. A couple or three are decorative and the rest are just plain. It's $5 for the set. First one I picked up was these bicycles that have the sunflower tires. My youngest daughter absolutely loves sunflowers, so this set's going to go to her. And the others are just like Carolina blue. Then there is this one that has the home, H-O-M-E, homey, ho me. With the pumpkins. I hate when they break it up like that. 
but I took one for the team and got them to show you. And the other ones are those plain white, kind of like a, they're not really white, they're like a beige, they're not white. Then there is this set, which I'm gonna share those with you last because that's my favorite. Then there's this set where it says, now, I love the saying y'all, okay? But this last one is my favorite, but I'll share with, this one is, it's fall, y'all. It's fall, y'all. And you've got your Nomi here. You've got your Nomi here. So these are gonna be your three decorative ones. And then you've got a gray and two white plain. These have a lot of, I found a lot of these strings, loose strings in them. I don't know if that's showing us the quality of these wash rags or if that's just loose strings from the packaging. So I can't, you know, tell you the quality of those just yet. This one is my favorite just because I love the pumpkins. I'm not a fan of the truck so much, but let me show you. So we've got our truck here with the pumpkins in the back in this blue. Then we have the three pumpkins on the white or the beige and on the orange. And then you've got just an orange and a beige and a blue plain. So which one is your favorite? I really wish that they would have had the it's fall y'all in this set, but it is what it is. That's gonna be in the way, right? Let me move it. Tell me what your favorite set was from this bundle. I'm curious. I'm curious, I wanna know, is it the whole me? Next up, same thing with the bottle brush theme with the little wood home piece decor, decor pieces. There's this one that has like the little church or maybe it's a house, I don't know. Then it says fall with the orange bottle brush tree. It's got the little picket fence. $3 for this piece and this one was $3 as well. And this one is the barn and it says blessed. And it's got the little green bottle brush tree and the little pumpkin or gourd and the barn is really stinking cute. So fall and blessed. And this one has some, um, what's it called from the, the stuff that I don't mix well with, um, hot glue gun. It's got some hot glue shoved in there, but I have to clean it. So there's that. And then the last two pieces, definitely not the least, but the last two pieces, home decor pieces as well. Home decor, pun intended. There's this home sign. So the H is painted white. The O is a blue pumpkin with a green leaf and the twine bow. The M is the galvanized metal and then the E has the burlap on it. And then there's this one that says home, $3. And then there's this one that says fall, also $3. The F on this one is the galvanized metal. The A happens to be an acorn with burlap. The L is white and the other L is black. So fall and home. These were $3 each. And I thought they were so stinking cute. I was like, yes, I had not seen those at my local. Honestly, out of everything that I purchased out of town, the only thing that I saw at my local Dollar Tree last night that is the same was at one store I found the blocks. One store I found the blocks. And at another store I found this along with the companion that goes with it that I, again I didn't share with you. I'll share that on a future video. But everything else in this haul that I have shared with you, I didn't see it at my local Dollar Tree. Again, that's not to say they didn't get them, but maybe they were already sold out. But that is it for this Dollar Tree haul, you all. I hope that you enjoyed it. I was gonna share a Target item with you, but I'm gonna wait, because I have a tar I do have a Target haul that I need to show you, so I'll just put it all together. But again, let me know what your favorite set of wash rags are. Let me know what your favorite is in this video, period, because I love hearing from each and every one of you. Also, like I said, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're not a family member, We'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell next to that for notifications as to when I upload a new video. You all don't.